Where the hell are we this time? What a spectacular structure. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, Mona, your mirage is amazing. Though it falls short of the glorious Imanakreish, one must admit that it is an impressive realm nonetheless, Lady Magistus. <sighs> At least it's not showing me getting lectured by the old hag. God damn it, I want to see her getting lectured by the old hag. Well, what else would you expect of a genius astrologist's mirage? Okay, let's get started. Whoa, it's open! Hey! Wow. How? What the? I believe that astrology is a valuable discipline and that it is capable of revealing the inner workings of this universe. Oh, that's... Me talking to myself. You talk to yourself. When people discovered I could perform divination, they began to bombard me with inquiries. It's not sad. When is my missing son going to be found? Do they love me or not? Will I ever recover? Being the honest person I am, I told them exactly what I saw through the scry glass. Though honesty may bring about resentment, I... I couldn't lie in the face of such a noble art. Astrology is a scam. The truth is a That's scam. That's insane. Can you please leave me alone now? I need some space. It felt as if I was being stabbed with razor sharp knives. Whoa, 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 whoa. I could see the future, yet I felt miserable. As if I'd fallen into an abyss. Wait, hits take <laughs> I'm not supposed to take hits? I'm supposed to. Wait, you want me to hit myself? Lady Magistus, this is heartbreaking. Ugh, please don't try to comfort me. It'll only make me feel embarrassed. Oh, she's better now. It's just Come a memory. On. You don't need to pretend in front of us. You need a hug. Bye, go get her. Oh, no, <laughs> that was really how I felt back when I first started out in astrology, but I've matured now. I'm no longer so easily swayed by random people's opinions. Who would have thought? Even Magistus, the court archmage, was not spared of vexatious times in her career. She's a human being just like you, eh? It must have been difficult to be misunderstood by others. I'm glad that you were able to move past that. Actually, there are many who have given up astrology due to similar circumstances. But I am a genius, so it's only fair that I'm able to accomplish what others cannot. It's pretty inspiring to hear you say all that in an amazing place like this. You're not a genius, but you're awesome, Meg. Yes, good. Keep going. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt, but the door is that way. The surroundings appear to have changed. This isn't the beach we are. Just what the heck is happening to us on these islands, anyways? The area appears to be the mountains of Mondstadt. Wait, have we been sent back to Mondstadt? Yet the boundless ocean still surrounds us. So there should be another pool around yeah, here. You just want to swim, right don't you? Over here, y'all. Oh, something seems to be floating on the water there. Uh, is it a painting? Or what is it? It seems to be hinting at a specific place. Ah, it we've been here. It is anticipating that the princessin would guide her loyal followers to the location that has been chosen by fate. Why is it always you that has to take the lead? <sighs> Whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's just find this place first. Wow. What the hell? <laughs> Scry the sky. God, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that all again. Is that what I'm supposed to make? God damn it, I feel like I have this, but then I remember I'm stupid. There's another star. Where are you? Come on, move it! Move your pile of junk before I destroy this whole place. Oh my god, get in! Astrology reveals the truth unreservedly. But not everyone is willing to accept their fate. No matter. Running into difficulties is part of practicing the craft. 
I must also become stronger myself in order to convince people. I once met an adventurer on a mountain who also happened to be picking fruits. He was even kind enough to share some with me. So, in return, I agreed to perform a divination for him. The results were terrifying. I advised him to give up adventuring as soon as possible. He fell silent for a while. Surprisingly, he didn't doubt the results of my divination like others had. But he looked quite perplexed. Even so, I have to keep going. Adventurers can't just give up in the face of hardship. People that, don't give up. He picked up the face of hardship for the peak, however. Try as I might, I could never forget that incident. Why is that? Oh, we're back again. Mona. Is that adventurer? <sighs> that was the only time I ever saw him. And that was more than three years ago, which means... But isn't there still a chance that he's alive? You know, like maybe you just made a mistake. I'm not the astrologist, but you and I gotta agree that's not fair. You can't call it divination if you reject anything bad and believe the good unreservedly. That's just self-deception. To contradict my own reading would be a blasphemy against astrology. Cruel. But truthful. Such is fate. fate. I don't usually say things like this, but while we're on the topic, I really hope you don't confuse astrology with those fortune stick peddlers that you see along the streets. Astrology does not exist to please. We astrologists are here to verify and witness the truths of this world. <sighs> Which is why astrology is a disdained profession. It is a mighty art, but unfortunately one that annoys people It's a noisy people art too, from the looks of things. Why dost thou protest so much, Lady Magistus? Thou seems not to be the sort with whom one would be loath to be associated. What main Fräulein means is that she's glad to be friends with you. <laughs> no, no. That's not exactly what I said. Whatever has gotten into you, Oz, you misinterpret my utterances with increasingly alarming frequency. Oh my, why could that be? Perhaps I have been concerned that Main Fräulein could offend her friends <laughs> and have been attempting to soften her. Listen here, you little piece of shit. Although you're the only astrologist I know, you've left an awesome impression on me. Knowing your fate doesn't come cheap. If one could simply avoid fate with just a few words, no one would have to endure the pain of parting. Mona, don't take others' comments to heart. Follow your heart and never forget what's right. Oh, it, it, I, it, Comforting, thank you very much. Your ears are red. Oh, uh, you dumb idiot. Well, then, um, thank you. What dost thou say? <laughs> Speak up. Speak up and offer your highest reverence and blessings to the princess. Okay, okay, your highness. Main Fräulein, you are the only one with eyes sharp enough to locate the secret. You both just know how to handle her now, eh? <sighs> if that's the case, very well. I shall proceed to the beach. <laughs> And there she goes. Go, Mona. Come on, Meg. Oh, okay. Coming. <laughs> wait, wait up, you guys. This time it appears. Huh. Near a lamppost, huh? Oh, great. Now I wonder where the stars will be this time. Bro, why are they making this more and more exceedingly hard? Should I really go to Sumeru? Is it a place of wisdom for a moron like me? Oh, good God. I'm not even going to try to attempt this. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Why are you like this? Move like a normal flying star in the sky. It stopped by the water, but didn't go in. Whoa. Can I choose what master chism I want? Are you going to finally go in? Well, wait for me. Um, that was a refreshing swim. Oh, wait, how the are we in your home, Meg? What are we doing in my house? <laughs> your house? This is your house? My, how unexpected. I heard Lady Magistus lived a modest life, but this abode is way above our pay grade. Look at the labels on these books on the ground. Only one of its kind. Nine hundred ninety. There are so many expensive looking hardcovers over here. So this is what an astrologist's room looks like. And the suckers. The rooms are exquisitely designed. 
This place must be very expensive. I'm on his reds. Hey, I'm just occasionally out of Mora, that's all. You're not? Oh, so what about those times I treated you to meals and had you over to my place for dinner? Mean Fräulein, mind your phrasing. Ah, zippin' bird. <clears throat> oh, yes. The stew and cold cuts your mother made were heavenly. Mm. I could go for some more of that right now. Lady Magistus, this is not the time for Hey, you piece of shit, you'll be in now. Using all of us. Is that Mondstadt cuisine? I want to try some. I heard Mondstadt has lots of local delicacies, especially meat dishes. Hmm. Then I shall extend to you the honor of meeting the Kaiser and Kaiserin with me on a future occasion. Tell mommy and daddy I said hi, Amy. Oh, really? Hey, we should go too. Yeah, I thought we were invited. Now that you mention it, it has been a while since I visited a friend's house. I shall gladly oblige. Oh, but shouldn't we bring some sort of gift? It's only common courtesy. Those two are very kind and understanding, so please don't worry. We'll about be the greatest that. gift to them. Eh? Just bring yourselves. You seriously have to try her mom's cold cut platter. It's a specialty or something. <laughs> anyway, it's simply delightful. Not to interrupt, but perhaps we should start working on the puzzle at hand. Ever since I entered this place, I have found myself most preoccupied with that ornament. Oh, right. What the hell? This little shit's been living this high life and I've been worried about her? Hi, Mon. Astrologists are able to understand the most complex signs among the stars. And because of this, we are not allowed to show any arrogance. If one believes that astrology grants them unlimited power, they will face banishment by the stars. In the past, I was ignorant enough to think that I understood all fates in the universe. Maybe it was some form of... You should not get confused. If you should become confused one day, not even astrology will be able to help you then. That's what the old hag said. We astrologists can't predict our own fate. But today... Those words seem to carry a different meaning. In a world full of lies and gods... Where do astrologers and people seeking the truth of the world stand, really? I understand now that people won't always follow a beacon's guiding light. Even though the way forward may be dark and dangerous, they will still resolutely forge ahead. Fate is called such precisely because it cannot be altered or reversed. Um. Damn, this is beautiful. I understand the governing laws of the universe and have glimpsed secrets between heaven and earth. Observing it is enough for me. There's no need to force it to change. There are no perfect legends and no heroes that can save everyone. Instead of dwelling on my helplessness, what I should do is seize my own destiny. Seize it, Meg. Where the hell are we when heaven and earth collide? View. Like a portrait out of Bob Ross. Lady Magistus, I believe this is the firmest evidence yet of your immense genius. You truly are the greatest archmage in the history of the Immanachreich. Thank you. Although the Immanachreich really doesn't have that much of a history. Stars like diamonds and the moon like a pearl. This is the most brilliant night sky I've ever beheld. It's beautiful. Sure is. Hmm. What's wrong, pal? Well, I'm just thinking. These must be the things that we aspire to. This night sky is incredibly beautiful. In fact, I might go so far as to say it's even more beautiful than what I usually see in divinations. All the stars are in their rightful place. But This is definitely my mirage. Only here can I see extraordinary sights like these. You know, the night sky of Tevat is truly marvelous. All the answers in the world seem to have been hidden within. Pay attention now. When is my missing son going to be found? To 
they love me or not. If I'm on the primordial god. Will I ever recover? As your stars move across the sky, they record all your life events in their path. And among all the people in the world, a considerable number will see their stars deviate from their path. When your stars are on track, it means you will be healthy, happy, and at peace. Conversely, if your stars go off track, everything will get worse. The starry sky in my divinations would never look as perfect as this. Some stars would lose their way, and others would fall. I wish everyone could be happy and stay on track. To this end, I offer advice. And tell the truth. I know it's useless. All fates are already revealed in the night sky, with mine too. Just another among them. Even so. Outside of astrology, outside of the words of truth, Damn. I still cling to the wisp of an irrational fantasy. I never thought I'd hear that from the great astrologers. You sure you're allowed to say stuff like that? We must all live within the confines of reality, but... Call me presumptuous. Next. I don't think there's I any more of a genius than you. For believing in nonsense stars. like that. There are stars for you, for me, for everybody. Now I will seize my own destiny. Wait, you say seize destiny? Is uh, destiny here? Destiny is kind of blocked by a wall. There was a transparent bird made of crystal. It was beautiful and fragile and could sing the most beautiful songs. But since mortals couldn't see it, they believed it to be a trick. How could a transparent bird possibly exist, let alone sing? When the bird heard that, it flapped its wings and flew across mountains and seas all the way to the night sky, where it turned into a star. Its brilliance was so dazzling that it's so beautiful. It allowed all those that could see it to follow its light through the dark night. To sail through the seas under the guidance of the stars. It was born in wisdom, but trapped in ignorance. It has never voiced a complaint, for this is its destiny. Guiding people to see their destinies is the very meaning of its existence. The stars in the sky. We're back here again! Are we completely out of here? Time on, at this point, I don't know what's a mirage and what's reality anymore. My mirage didn't contain any hints on the Tui or the machine. Does that mean they had nothing to do with these mirages after all? I wouldn't all? be so sure. Or perhaps these mirages are a mere consequence and not part of a process at all. Um, I mean, these mirages were not steps towards solving the mystery, but rather a direct effect of whatever's going on. I think these guys screwed it up big time Someone again. did something to bring the mirages into being. As they were just passive side products, it was natural that they couldn't provide us with any useful information. In other words, those mirages were only about ourselves. Hmm. Pure materializations of ourselves. Interesting. <laughs> Visual wording. Hmm. Everyone, maybe we should go back to where this whole thing began. Wait, it's that guy from last hey, time. Look! Isn't that the same guy we saw on our first day here? <laughs> Everyone's gone crazy. Everyone should get out of here. But I was right, my precious. <laughs> You are invincible. <laughs> this what the hell is this contraption? Precious? What's his precious? The big thing in front a of you. A miracle machine. Definitely not. What a drunkard. Oh, goodness. The smell of alcohol. I've checked the surroundings, but there's no one else here. Isn't that strange? The Fatui is a big organization, but he's the only one left at this camp. What's more, we didn't even see What exactly him happened to them different to us? Cleanse him with the holy spring of punishment. Took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, Fräulein means to splash him with water. Really? Ooh, sounds like a good idea. I thought, you know, we were going to squash him. My <laughs> uh, why is he crying? Looks like he has a lot of... The bottle does a lot to you, Paimon. You mocked me. And my precious invention. You... You don't know anything about the future. What future? Only my invention can help us conquer the world. <laughs> idiots. Such idiots. <laughs> Ow! My manuscript, only that can, can save. <laughs> manuscript? Where is it? Don't yell at me. <laughs> Why is the middle-aged man crying or the talking of a child? Official, don't yell at him. <laughs> then I'll please excuse me. Pazza stands quietly for a while yeah. and throws a researcher over his shoulder onto the ground. Tell me where you put the manuscript. The manuscript. The manuscript. He found it. She found, found it. it. Just as I thought. 
this machinery, named cognitive mimicry, is capable of altering the state of people's brains. It was invented by the researcher we met earlier. His name is Persikov. According to the manuscript, the Fatui officials did not support Persikov's research. They believed he had taken the wrong path. Really? The Fatui has a conscious? But Persikov insisted on putting his machine to use. In order to achieve that, he disassembled the machine and used his connections to transport the parts to this deserted island. How did they find this island? How does the machine work? That's most likely top secret. The manuscript didn't reveal any details, but Persikov did mention that the machine was modeled after the power of a god. Which god? Does that mean there's a god connected to these dreamlike mirages and the Fatui found a way to The god that was way back in official's domain. We had a phone call when we were trying to call Wendy and I kind of theorized that was a Dendra Archon. Clearly. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been able Wait, to Wait, so there's some sort the of Mirage power. Archon? Anyway, Persikov's experiment did not go as planned. The machine broke down just days after it was activated. They tried to fix it, but a technologically illiterate Fatui soldiers completely ruined the machine. Then, Persikov went searching for the soldiers who had gone mad and strayed from the group and took them to a hidden cave. I think that was where they were at the day we arrived on this island. Persikov was taking a strong Fatui So that's soldiers what they were doing back then. Yes. It took Persikov all of his strength to get all the missing soldiers into the cave. He tried to snap them out of it with music and poetry, but nothing worked. The good news is, Persikov managed to figure out the location of the crystalline cores by piecing together the snippets of information he could get from the delirious soldiers. The bad news is, Persikov failed to revive them and eventually succumbed to the device's influence himself. The last few pages of the manuscript are just unintelligible drunken scribbles. <sighs> It appears that the responsibility for this issue now falls to my retainers and I. <sighs> Never thought we'd be saving the day on a vacation. Three islands, huh? We've got no choice but to find the crystalline cores now. I shut down this crap already. How am I supposed to unlock this? Who the hell is supposed to know how to do this? Other than a professional thief or something. No comment. <laughs> how, how am I doing this? I think so. That's what the manuscript says, anyway. Everyone sits around the campfire chatting and cooking barbecue. Uh, someone's in our camp. Hey, who are you people? Look at the machine. Is it fixed? What? But Mr. Persikoff is still lying on you the You want to join him? We're the ones who fix the machine. We could have had a nice, relaxing vacation if you know how to hadn't talk been you. occupying so much of our time. Hm. Apologize to me and my retainers at once. Oh no, oh no, I, I'm out of here. Hey, hey, don't leave me here on my own. <laughs> Those two definitely seem a little more lucid now. It looks like we succeeded. Looks so. Yay, let's get out of here then. <sighs> After coming home to a nice big There's nothing meal, like it, buddy old pal. Paimon's finally starting to feel relaxed. The vacation vibes are imminent. <laughs> of the Emanach Reich to thy liking? Certainly, my lady. loving it. Main Fräulein invited you all here not only to witness the arrival of our Holy Land, but most importantly, she wished that you could all relax and enjoy the summer. Great. Well, I've come to the right place. I love it here. And you should come find me and Leo when you get the time. I'll show you Make around. those connections, Fischl. Oh, also... My friend runs the best restaurant in Lille. I'm sure you'll love it. If you're into opera, you should go see Yunjin. She's the nicest person, and she likes making friends with new and interesting people. I'm sure the two of you will have plenty to talk about with your shared passion for theatrics. Oh? If Lady Shinyan speaks so highly of it, then I must entertain the idea. Traveler, I have a suggestion. About what, Kazuo? There's a snack called roasted lavender melon in Inazuma, which goes rather well with fish. <laughs> Why don't we roast some fruit and seafood for dinner tonight? Okie dokie! Then it's decided. I'll go gather some more fruit. And for seasoning... Yep, that should do it. Ah, you're all here. Hey, what's got you wrinkled? I've noticed an issue. Although we've fixed the machine, as you can see, the mirages on the islands have still not disappeared. So is it not because of the machine, then? Hmm. I've noticed that, too. 
but considering it took some time for the mirages to appear, it may also take some time for them to disappear. In other news, my scry glass seems to be working fine now. The divination results are also looking about right. Although... Although what? Although there are some parts in the results that I don't quite understand. Huh. It's as if there is some sort of power surrounding us. You think it's caused by the machine? Or perhaps Persica. Or a higher power? Sorry, I'm also not sure. All I know is that the power is not hostile at the moment. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem to harbor any ill will toward us. That reminds me, there's one unanswered question on these islands, but that group is unaware. I'll keep it in mind. Well, although there's nothing left to disturb us, and we can finally kick back and enjoy our vacation, we still ought to be cautious while we're on these islands. I will keep seeing what the stars say every day. I promised Fischl that I'd be her guard. I can help. So what am I supposed oh, to do? Can I just kick I'll back? Be counting on you. Goodness knows why those girls are so carefree about everything. I suppose it falls to me to be Come here. Oh, coming. Oh, so we're gonna call the tone deaf bard, right? Well, we're gonna try to, Paimon, but let's see who answers. Or the tone deaf bard. Or the tone deaf bard. Well, hello there, strangers. <laughs> you finally called. I thought you were having so much fun that you'd completely forgotten about me. Tone deaf bard. A whole bunch of really strange things happened. So much so you can already write a song about it. You tell Wendy everything that's happened on the islands over the a past few days. A machine that can imitate the power of a god? Wow. <laughs> it's so I weird, know right? Plans like that. Their imaginations are true. Wendy's a god, yet he feels completely unfazed. Like, if it do, we are, you know, going to power levels of, well, gods. And the gods we know are supposedly weak, but yet Wendy's so carefree about it. It's kind of strange to me. So, judging from your tone... Alas, I am but a humble bard who sings for his mora in the tavern. Ugh, so annoying. But other than that, did you two have fun? Sure we did. did. We ate a lot of yummy food and saw loads of amazing things. It was really cool. Overall, I'd say it was pretty satisfying. <laughs> That's good. The point of traveling is to record any feelings stirred along the way. As long as you had an unforgettable experience, this journey has served its purpose. Thanks, Wendy, for roping us all together. As for the mysterious voice, although we don't know who it was, mm. not only did she not harm you, she also helped you to gain a better understanding of each other, right? Wait, did she? If you look at it that way, maybe she meant you well. I mean, if she was able to intercept Alice's communication tool, I'm sure she's also plenty capable of attacking you. Why would anyone attack me, Tone though? Fart is right. I understand. <laughs> I'm glad to bring you some peace of mind. Just enjoy your vacation to the fullest. And don't forget to tell me all about the marvelous mirages when you get back. I want to record all these beautiful memories and turn them into ballads. Every summer will become an unforgettable song. That's a deal, buddy. Then I'll just wait for your return. Happy vacationing. Tone Deaf Bart thinks it's okay. Then maybe there's nothing to worry about. Maybe. Let's head back. We don't want to keep everyone waiting. Vacation resumes, Paimon. Hold on. Did Official say earlier that she's going to catch some crabs? Really, Official? Oh, Paimon wants to go too. Oh, she's not going to catch now a Paimon. Now have solved the mystery. Doesn't it make you feel happy? Satisfied? Who are you? That voice. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. I'm just a little bird that sometimes flies by these islands. Why are you flying by and me? I'm now watching you from far, far away. Why are you watching from far, far away? I just so happened to sense a power here that has something to do with me. The Mirage Archon. I'm serious, so I landed on the beach to quietly watch everything that took place on these islands. It was fascinating. The ones who came here to work were so busy, and yet... I still saw genuine smiles on their faces from time to time. So I'm gonna say you're the tender archon. You're saying that you've never seen a genuine smile before? And then all of you arrived later on, bringing uh, your glorious dreams. Why is it waiting for me in Sumeru? Your dreams are like the pure and delicate bubbles floating on the water. The more beautiful the illusion, the more it fascinates me. I'm not able to travel myself. But I do admire free spirits like yourself. So, I helped them design a little something for you all. I hope you liked it. Wait, you are the one who designed the marriages? Who are you? As I said, I don't have an agenda. I'm just a little bird. I stopped here to admire your lives. Joys, sorrows, and all. Isn't it so lonely to just see it from afar? You are a special person with a unique and brilliant glow. I decided to communicate with you in this way because I'm really curious about you. Uh, Paimon, right? Not me. There's no need to wonder about my name. 
Maybe one day in the future, we will meet in another place. Oh, we're certainly gonna meet, kiddo. When that time comes, I think you'll be able to recognize me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? The crabs don't catch themselves! Wait, I thought Fischl was already on the case. <laughs>